नमस्ते एवरीवन गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम सो वी बीन टॉकिंग अबाउट स्टेप वन ऑफ एक्सरसाइज वन वेर वी आर ट्राइंग टू ऑब्जर्व आर इमेजिनेशन इफ पॉसिबल ऑल द टाइम एवरी मोमेंट at least we can attempt to do it every moment even if we are not able to do it right now and when we are observing the imagination we particularly want to try to observe the feeling in the imagination because this is going to decide our happiness or unhappiness and this is what we will work with in the coming steps but in every step even subsequently we would have to keep doing this part the first step which we keep saying is a simple but important step because without it the future steps will not happen and if you keep trying to observe you will ultimately be also able to see the feeling which is also a part of the imagination yeah this is what we keep saying that the feeling is the one that drives the thoughts the expectations and ultimately the behavior outside so it is important to be able to see the feeling that's why our focus is on the feeling because that gives direction to the imagination where is it going what are we paying attention to did we decide the object of attention ourselves with awareness or does it seem to be happening without awareness by itself and we were trying to see the feeling feeling thought expectation but largely focusing on the feeling so if it is slipping from one thing to another are you deciding and going there or it's just happening you are not consciously deciding so you may have decided to pay attention to something right you may have started with that i need to do such and such work and then it may have led to if i don't do this that person will get disturbed and then you go on to that person is always getting disturbed and then you go on to something else and something else and something else so are you in this case you are not consciously deciding to spend time there on thinking these things these thoughts isn't it feelings and thoughts let's try to see them separately yes mm mm-hmm. because yes. whatever thoughts are there that you are able to see some feeling will be associated with that you feel comfortable you don't feel comfortable you have feeling of relationship when you are thinking of something or you have feeling of opposition when you are thinking of something and ultimately we'll see that is what is deciding uh, where our thoughts are going to keep observing till we can reach the subtlest activity within ourselves till we are able to see that so feeling is little more subtle than the thought more subtle is the sanskars more subtle is the realization seeing things the way they are understanding realization so ultimately we have to be able to see the subtlest activity within ourselves and even subtler than that the space but it will come slowly obviously we are not used to it so as we keep doing the practice we will be able to observe more and more yes ye baat to theek hai ki beech mein agar idhar udhar dhyan jata hai to samajh mein aa raha hai ki hamara dhyan divert ho raha hai but most of the time uh, feelings or emotions uh, dikhne ke bajaye blankness hi adhik dikhta hai aur us stage ke baad cross karna jaisa lagta hai na ki अनकंफर्टेबल भी होता है जैसे वी वॉन्ट टू स्टे इन दैट ब्लैंकनेस ओनली तो वहां पे जाके कई बार ये जो 
विदिन जाने की यात्रा है वो रुकी हुई सी लगती है तो इसको कैसे आगे प्रोसेस करना है इफ वी सी यू नो इवन व्हेन वी आर डूइंग मेडिटेशन और वट प्रैक्टिस वी मे बी डूइंग यू आर डिसाइडिंग और कॉन्शियसली डिसाइडिंग टू ऑब्जर्व समथिंग whether it be a light outside whether it be your breath the feel of the breath on the skin of the body or whatever may be that you are observing the sensations now that is still outside outside of you isn't it you are observing the light outside body then you are observing some sensation which is now the on the body so you are now connecting it and you are or you are becoming conscious of that and you are observing that so ultimately you have to look within and start observing the thoughts which are linked with whatever you are doing outside and so doing that takes some time takes some practice and a lot of times when you consciously decide okay let me see what am i thinking what am i feeling like you mentioned there is a blank you can't see so if we go back to what we had discussed a couple of days back that may be one reason may be that our capacity to see needs to develop further so we have to just keep with the decision to observe and slowly you will start being able to see because ultimately you have the the potential to see it we all do and you have to see within yourself so you are having these thoughts you are having these feelings and this is happening in the b2 block if you recall and the observation has to happen from the b1 block but if we are not able to keep seeing from the b1 block then what we can do is we can start referring to our natural acceptance but even for that you will find that ultimately to refer to the natural acceptance also you have to try to see the feeling or you have to try to see the thoughts and then deduce the feeling so somewhere you have to start with seeing your thoughts and feelings so if you are doing a practice of trying to see um trying to keep your uh, attention on the breath and your mind drifts somewhere what did it drift to try to see that what thoughts came to you because ultimately you have to start seeing the thoughts inside you thoughts that are going on in you and with that once you start seeing the thoughts within then you can start seeing the feeling so if you are going blank also doesn't matter just keep with that decision that i must observe you know an important point that we'll be able to notice in ourselves that when we are drifting away in our flowing with the thoughts with the flowing with the imagination wherever it's going then we it is not easy for us to recall the activities that we were doing sometimes because we were so engrossed so involved in the thoughts in the imagination that we forget or we are not consciously doing the activities there are routine mundane things that we may be doing like we keep mentioning this you know um, did i turn off the gas or did i not gas is something still more we might be conscious about did i turn off the geyser or not did i turn off the light or not did i lock this place or not these kind of things many people have to go back and keep checking because while you are doing it you might be busy engrossed in some thoughts so this forgetfulness uh is a sign that somewhere we were not conscious of what activity we were doing and imagine if we were doing everything consciously 
then we wouldn't forget it. So there are, you know, in the medical terminology, there is a condition called OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder, where people keep going back and doing the same activity again and again and again. So they might wash their hands again and again and again. Now, at the base of it, there may be some belief, some assumption, some sanskar, which is driving the imagination. And they are constantly influenced by that. They are in the grip of that. So they keep doing this again and again and again. And they won't recall also that how many times they might have done it. Because they are so engrossed within themselves. So like that, that is an extreme condition which it start, when it starts interfering with day-to-day -day activities too much, then we give it a name. But if we see, we are all doing it to some extent or the other, to some small extent or the other. Some may be doing it more, some may be doing it less. But as you keep doing these exercises, you will notice that your forgetfulness comes down. You become more productive because supposing you decide to read something, you, you decide to read five pages in your book. Now, if you know, if you are earlier, what might have happened was while reading, you drift off somewhere because your attention goes wherever you think it's important, even though you have not consciously decided it. Question is only whether we are deciding it consciously or not deciding it consciously. Ultimately, we'll see that we are only deciding it, but only question is whether it's conscious or it's without consciousness, without awareness. So you may choose to or make the decision to read the book, to read so many pages, but while reading, something else seems more important. So you start thinking about that. And you may be thinking about that for 10 minutes, for some five minutes, for some two minutes, for some maybe 20 minutes. And then at some point you come back to the book. Oh, I got, I drifted away. So now you come back and you start reading. So if you, if you pay attention to the imagination, if you pay attention to, you know, or if you consciously decide what to do, then you will find that as this practice becomes, or you become more efficient at this practice of observation, then your, your thoughts will not drift so much. So the same work that might have taken two, three hours for you might get done in half an hour and so on. So you will notice all this, the forgetfulness will come down, your productivity may go up, you may need less sleep as your thoughts and feelings become more in line with the natural acceptance and you are calmer and so many other things. And as you keep observing yourself, you will notice some of these changes in you as we go along. But right now we are still at step one. So as we go further, we'll see how it goes for all of us. Notice that because the imagination is shifting so fast from one to the other, to the other, to the other, there may be times when we decide on something, but then we are thinking something else. And then sometimes we get back to it immediately. So things may be happening very fast, moment to moment, you know, one moment you may be aware, next moment you have lost awareness. Third or fourth moment you come back to awareness. All this can keep happening and it happens very rapidly. But our potential to observe, because we are observing for a, from a higher plane, is much more. So even though it happens very rapidly, we can observe this also. Um, so our observation is always, ultimately, it will be more than or can be faster than 
actually how the thoughts are going like the thoughts may shift moment to moment but to be able to catch that shift as it happens that ability will slowly develop as our uh, as we reach you know as we keep practicing so yes that is possible um does it take some energy for observe like um what is this laziness or tiredness to observe like or is there something like this observation also requires uh, energy there is um the consciousness itself is what it is energy no even when we say matter we are saying energy in some form or the other so when it comes to using the thinking process or the b2 block here we are involving some part of the body the brain so that part can be tiring and specially what is tiring is when there is lot of conflict happens within so that is what is more tiring if you actually do the process of observation you feel refreshed you feel less tired you notice this when you do it so in fact it is very uh, you can say revitalizing sort of because when you do this you realize that you know earlier you may have been very tired and you observing is not thinking yeah so if you so get into this analyzing judging ah, then you are thinking then it, and then it then can be tiring, tiring. <laughs> yes but if you just let it happen then it may not it be tiring observe. yeah yeah and that is part of the you know um, it is already there i mean we are not creating this energy we are not it's just there for us yeah so in the next step now we can start evaluating the feeling so in the first step we saw that we have to observe the imagination we have to observe the feeling at the base of the imagination and we have to observe without evaluating without stopping without changing all of that now in step 2 once we are comfortable with seeing the feeling then now i have to evaluate the feeling and the thought that i have at any moment so ask yourself is the feeling naturally acceptable to me or is it not naturally acceptable to me the feeling that i am having at any moment is it naturally acceptable to me or not is it in accordance with human nature or not do i want the continuity of this feeling or not so this is what we have to do now as we keep observing of course the observation will continue as we are observing we will also try to see if the feeling at the base of the imagination is something that is not naturally acceptable to me or not naturally acceptable to me and do i want the continuity of this or i don't want the continuity of this and this answer will be very simple for you to get if you are observing the feeling for example you can observe and evaluate when you have the feeling of affection what it would be like you can notice that when you have a feeling of affection it feels that it is naturally acceptable to you and you would like to continue it but when you have the feeling of opposition it is not naturally acceptable to you and you feel disturbed you don't want to continue it you want to come out of it so now we have to be aware of the feeling at the moment observe the feeling as it is again we should we are trying to not change it not um sort of stop it but just simply evaluate it without reacting 
So don't try to make effort to hold on to the right feeling that because it's the right feeling, it should continue. Not like that. Don't try to stop any particular feeling or thought because there you have stopped observing and now you have shifted back to reacting within B2. So just be aware. Observe the feeling as it is and evaluate it without any reaction. So today, this is what we'll be doing as our task for today. We are going to be continuing to observe the imagination several times in the day. Again, the same thing we have to, if we tend to forget when we are doing activities, we can set reminders for ourselves. They can be mental reminders to us or physical reminders so that we um, can continue with this observation more and more times. And of course, at least once or twice in the day, if we sit down and do it separately for a few minutes, 10, 15, 20 minutes, then it will be helpful. And here today, we are not just looking at the feeling at the base of the imagination, but we are also trying to evaluate this feeling, seeing if it is naturally acceptable or not. And do we want the continuity of this feeling or not? So this much we'll do today and we'll take your observations tomorrow.